Software Control Panel. Connect the HS2000L to a computer via RS232 remote. Use a USB to RS232 adapter cable. Install the USB to RS232 driver. In the Windows Device Manager, you can see the USB serial communication port. Run SE2000UI folder SE2000.exe program. Right click, enter to options, and change the serial number. You can now remotely control the HS2000L by computer operation. Note, when you run the computer remote control, some functions on the HS2000L are disabled. Note, SE2000.exe does not have remote control of the HS2000L menu. Close SE2000.exe program. The software can modify 14 logos, change the clock font, multi-viewer screen's background, and the menu style, etc. within the SE2000 Configuration Utility Service. Run the SE2000 Configuration Utility Service program. In the Windows Device Manager, you can see the USB serial communication port. Select the connection port number in SE2000 Configuration Utility Service program and connect to the HS2000L. Logo input and setting. Supports 256 by 192 resolution images saved as 24-bit BMP or TGA. Click Logos tab, then Load to read a logo file. Click right, select the location to be saved. When write is complete, you can select Logo 1 or select Logo 2 in the HS2000L menu Logo Options to display the new logo. Tip: You can also copy the logo in HS2000L internal memory, then save it to a computer. Multi-view background setting. Use 128 by 128 images, 24-bit BMP or TGA. Click the background tab, click load, then choose a background image file. Click right to select a location to be saved. When writing is complete, select Menu Option M Screen's Background Logo to display the new background. Tip: You can also copy the background in HS2000L's internal memory, then save it to a computer.
multi-view setting. Click the Names tab, click Read to show and modify multi-view display titles. Enter the content you want to change in the text window. Click right to change the title you want to modify on the multi-view window. Tip. In the Device tab, click the button Reanimate when you need to reset to factory default settings. Close SE2000 Configuration Utility Service Software Interface and disconnect the USB to RS-232 cable.